Happy New Year. Thank you, you <laughs> too. Happy, Happy New, Year. New Year. Short ribs, huh? Yes. Time to break our second New Year's resolution. <laughs> I know, gosh. Red meat. We're off to a great start. So the meat is out of the brine. It's been sitting there for at least six hours. And then what we need to do is completely dry it. And you also want to make sure that there are no whole spices stuck to the meat. A little bit of oil in a warm pot. And you're going to start to hear it sizzle a little bit. Mm -hmm. And now we're going to develop a different kind of flavor, which is caramelization of the meat. The more uh, caramelization you get on this piece of meat, the better. Um, you, can, you don't have to keep holding it the whole time. You can just mm -hmm. rest it on the side. And the side of the pot will also keep caramelizing this side. So you can see now that all the surfaces of the short ribs, they've been browned. Mm -hmm. um, they have a really nice crust, nice caramelization. And set them on a cooling rack. And now we're going to start developing the sauce. And the butter is going to start to just a little bit. And to that, I'm going to add fresh ginger. Uh, it smells so good. I know. And <laughs> whole garlic. And if you notice, I'm trying to use ingredients in whole so I can take sure. it out. Yeah, yeah. Because at the end, all I want is the piece of meat with the sauce. Mm -hmm. Cumin, mm -hmm. ground ginger. And then what we're going to do is we're going to put the meat back. We're going to top it off with Either water, beef stock, chicken stock, whatever stock you have. And this comes up to a simmer. We're going to add parsley and cilantro. And saffron, this is one teaspoon of saffron. And these are the preserved lemons that we brought from the restaurant. So we're using half a lemon. And this goes into the pot. And this will come up to a simmer. Once it comes up to a simmer, what I want to do is take a piece of parchment paper that is cut to the circumference of the pot. This will go in here. And once it comes up to a simmer, we're gonna put it in the oven. 250 degrees, really low and slow, for about four hours. <laughs> so, um, let this rest yeah. uh, for about 30 minutes or so. Then we take the meat out. There we go. What are you gonna eat, Michelle? <laughs> this was mine, the whole thing, right? <laughs> Strain the sauce. And then we're gonna reduce the sauce Okay, so this is a little bit of um, aged butter that, that I brought with me and go ahead and smear some of this aged butter all over the meat. It will help it get a really brown, That's beautiful. Um, nice color once we put it back in the oven. This time the oven is gonna be about 450 degrees because we're just gonna brown the surface. 25 minutes, 30 minutes, and you can see that the color is just unbelievable. That's stunning. Here we go. Thank you. Wow, that is so beautiful. Oh, it is so tender. Oh Look my at gosh. That, you just spun a little bit of the sauce on top of the short ribs. Group effort. Uh, you don't have to be careful. Just okay. Go for it. <laughs> a little bit of olive oil. There oh, you go. That looks great. And then a little bit of salt. That looks incredible. And a little bit of ground cumin. Oh, oh wow. And it's just yeah. really deeper flavor. Shall I dig in on this one yeah. or are we doing one each? <laughs> I'll share. Mm. Mm. My mm. goodness. Mm. Unbelievable. I could eat this mm. every day. Almost every day. Almost every day. Almost every day. Incredible. Thank you so much. Oh, you Thank what you a new so, year. Thank you so much. Happy, Happy, year. Year. Happy New Year. Happy what a great year. start. Happy.